Good afternoon. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday. Okay, so today uh, for nail school, we are going to be focusing on how to sculpture gel nails. Uh, for those of you guys that are excited about getting into learning how to do gel nails, <clears throat> I want to be able to lay down some fundamentals so that you have a really good understanding on how to use forms on on uh, successful application, uh, well, preparation, application, and finishing techniques, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the whole entire process. <clears throat> now, what I want to be able to do, and for those of you guys that are just joining us, make sure to smash that like button. Uh, that will help out tremendously. All right, so I'm going to be using my Arbor Band <clears throat> to gently remove shine. The, the pressure you want to be using is a gentle feathering. I like to use the underside of my wrist to show you guys how much pressure I'm actually going to be using. What we want to be able to do is lightly feather away the shine, right? So you notice as I'm working across this way, I still have a little bit of shine right there. What I'm going to be able to do is run my barrel in one direction. I'm not going side to side. I'm literally kind of pulling towards myself in a very light feathering motion to remove shine from it thoroughly. Once we're done doing that, we're going to use swipe. And for those of you guys that just joined, make sure to smash that like button. Okay, so once I'm done removing shine from the surface of the nail, I now want to use protein bond, right? And it's really important that once you have that surface cleaned, you're going to be using a gentle coat from cuticle to free edge, right? So again, I wanna be able to apply one coat on the finger and I'm gonna do this on all 10 fingers. Then I'm gonna come through once all 10 fingers are done and I'm going to apply a second, okay. So same prep, just like you're doing acrylic. I'm doing a gel sculpture nail. Um, it's hard for me to see what's coming through the feed. Um, I uh, have uh, Tracy's not here helping out, but <clears throat> some of the team is actually going to be able to help you guys. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to apply a nice coat. We're going to be using concealer pink as our builder gel, but we're going to be using base. So really important that we have a clean wipe, something that I'd be able to actually pull through and clean my brush. And again, if there is any residue, you'll be able to take a little bit of swipe and just kind of pull any of the oils, dirts, and contaminants from the surface to keep your brush clean. I wanna be able to pull through and get a nice bead on one side of my brush. Notice when I'm actually applying that once I set this down and I pull through, do you see how it kind of looks like a tooth? What I'm gonna do is get my brush behind that little bit of a ridge and kind of lightly push and pull right, to create almost a nice perimeter around the nail. I'm not trying to create volume. This is just a really easy guide so that when I'm push, pushing and pulling, I'll be able to lay down a really, really nice, thin, even coat of base gel from cuticle to free edge. Now, what I wanna be able to do here is I don't wanna wait. Customer is gonna go directly inside the light and I'm going to cure that. When you're working, really important to work from pinky to thumb. Once it's done, go inside the light and work on the other hand. For those of you guys that just joined, make sure to smash that like button. If I have a little bit of excess gel, what I'll be able to do is use either a clean tile or a lint-free wipe with swipe on the surface to clean the surface of my brush so it's clean. Okay, I only have to be in here for about 30 seconds. Okay, once that is done, we are now going to get our form. So for those of you guys that were with us yesterday, notice when I take my form and place it here, I can pre-pinch this nice little handle. I can open up the arms, and what we can do is once I have it underneath, I could use my fingers to lightly tilt this up so that we have a straight extension on the side. Okay, now what we're going to do is build a free edge. I'm gonna be using the concealer pink. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull a nice even coat. For me to get great attachment to the surface, I'm gonna get that 
nice healthy amount right to the very, very edge. I'm gonna bounce, 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 bounce. Take a look at this side. Bounce, 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 all the way to the corner. So now as you can see, we have this great attachment from side to side. If I go through and grab a nice healthy amount on one side of my brush and then I get an attachment to that tip, all I have to do is lightly start to feather that out, not only to the desired length, but shape. So you can see right now, I'm actually able to build a really nice, basically almond shaped tip. I'm gonna now go inside the light and I'm going to cure it out. So you can see that the gel is not going to move. It's really going to stay stable. Uh, for those of you guys, again, that just joined us, make sure to smash that like button. You could see, again, with my wipe and the swipe that I have on the surface, I'm using this to clean my brush. Um, we don't ship to Europe. We have distributors uh, throughout Europe. Uh, biggest is in the UK, uh, Young Nails, uh, dot, I think, dot UK dot com. All right, so notice, right? Since I build out extension, watch this. If I pinch the front of the tip and I bring it down, notice that I have a perfect extension built out from side to side. So the key to doing gel, we wanna be able to create the perfect structure. For those of you guys that just joined, make sure to smash that like button. Okay, I need to pick up a nice healthy amount on one side of my brush, tap this off. What we're going to do is we're going to set this to the cuticle area. So I'm literally going to set it down and I'm gonna be using what I call a floating motion. Look at this, light, Circular motion, circular, very, very, again, focused on keeping contact on the surface of the nail. Now, to bring the product down, what I wanna be able to do is keep contact and use a very, very light front to back motion, right? To bring the product down. And I'm really trying to focus on keeping built up around the perimeter of the nail. Obviously you don't have enough to cover the whole entire nail. So I'm gonna come back and grab more right here at the stress area. I'm literally going to work that product down and over the tip, keeping contact with the surface of the nail. Do not worry about trying to build a massive thick structure. What you wanna be able to do is ensure that you're building what we call a great foundation layer. So as you can see, it's really thin in the center, but I have a lot of product, as you can see, built up around the tip, around the perimeter of the nail, and as well as the cuticle area. Now, if you have a lot of product, I'm gonna show you guys a trick. What you can do to prevent the client from feeling a tremendous amount of what we call thermal reaction, heat that's generated because the gel is curing super fast. You could keep the finger outside of the light, right? Just expose it outside of the light. And what that is going to do is it's going to create a slow cure. You could flash cure it or freeze it in front of the light for a minimum of, again, I would say, 30 seconds and then what you can do is slowly move inside the light and make sure that you cure that out for at least one minute while you're working on the other hand right so again if you're building thinner layers and and that's what i always find is when working with gel if you have a structure right if you have this structure Right, what we're, we're trying to do is we're trying to create obviously something that has great upper arch, right? A great apex, right, where the strength is. We're, we're literally trying to create something that looks like a really well-built enhancement. In order to get that, especially with gel, what we wanna be able to do is lay down the base layer first, and then what you could do is your foundation layer, it's really mostly focusing on trying to get that perimeter set up, and even if it's a flat nail, because then what you could do, you have to remember that once this is built out, and if it's really, really thin in the middle, now, since you have that foundation layer, what we could do is we could take a nice, healthy amount, 
And then we could really focus on just laying down in the area that's required. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the tip of my brush, again, really keeping focus on the surface of the gel as I am working through the body, keeping contact, keeping contact, light, again, very, very light. You can see how my fingers are connected all the way through. And then once I actually have this in place, I, <coughs> excuse me, I like to constantly kind of work through and, and make sure that I have enough buildup around the area, right? So you can see from the side profile, everything is built up, right? And then once we actually have the structure in place, it's gonna go back inside the light. Now at this point, I don't need to freeze it. And the reason why I don't need to freeze it is because I already have a foundation, right? You have the foundation established, right? And it's basically like this, right? That foundation is going to be a thin layer of gel on the nail. Everything you apply over the surface, since you have that buffer zone on the bottom, everything you apply over the top, you're not going to feel anything. Absolutely amazing. We need to make sure that we are curing this out for a minimum of one minute. I had it in for 30 seconds. We'll just do one more 30 second cure. Then we could go into the process of filing and getting it ready for application. All right, remember for those of you guys that just joined us, smash that like button. What we need to do to clean our brush, we need to get a little bit of swipe, right? If I have gel caked over the whole entire surface, all I need is a nice layer of swipe. I'm literally going to pull in between. Brush is completely clean and ready for new application. All right, light hand is gonna come out of the light. We are now going to take swipe, right? Because it has a tacky layer over the surface. We have to remove that tacky layer over the surface, right? Boom, just like this. Now, what we're going to do, let's go ahead and set this up for filing, all right? We get my dust extractor. And we wanna be able to shape this, right? So again, I'm going to make sure, that's part about doing gel is once it comes out of the light, it's done. I'm gonna keep contact, sorry, working with tips, file up until my hand file reaches the side, you're going to notice that you're able to build a fully straight extension leading from the end of the growth channel all the way out to the tip. Here is a better representation. You can see how much this is hanging. So I'm not gonna get it to the corner and bring it into the side. I'm gonna start from the lowest point and then I'm going to continue to file. I'm gonna continue to file until my hand file reaches. Look at this. So once it gets to the point where my hand file reaches, boom, now I have a perfectly straight extension coming out from the end of the growth channel all the way out to that point right there, okay? Now, what we wanna be able to do once the perimeter is shaped, then we can use our electric file to go through the body and basically remove the excess necessary for us to hand file into perfection. I don't need to run my electric file faster than I'd say 12,000 RPMs. I'm gonna be holding my e-file from the side. You're gonna notice, watch this. The amount of pressure I'm putting through the center of the nail in order for me to get, and you can see I'm trying to create that great structure, right? When I am looking down the barrel of the nail, I wanna be able to reduce some of the thickness down through the C curve to make sure that everything is going to be nice and even from side to side. If I'm going around the cuticle area, I want to go in one direction and all I am doing is using the barrel to remove bulk, right? So once upper arch, C curve, cuticle area is filed into perfection, I'm going to be using this to come through the whole entire nail to reduce a little bit more thickness. Now what this has done is it sets me up for my final stage of filing. At this point, I'll be able to take my hand file. I can work around the cuticle area, right? To blend that absolutely flush to the nail. I could file down this one side, making sure everything is even. I can file down this side. And my when I'm filing the right side, I have contact going up, letting it fall, right? And what we're trying to do 
is I'm using a new gel so that if I'm going to be doing designs or I'm going to be doing any type of art on the surface, I want to be able to build a structure. And I'll show you guys, because last but not least, what we want to be able to do is look down this profile. And for those of you guys that just joined us, make sure to smash that like button. What we're trying to do is use the gel to create a level of perfection, right? It's like creating a canvas that we're going to be able to paint our work of art on the surface. And you can see from this point, right, all I'm going to do is use the sponge, right, to get the last bits of perfection dialed in. And what we have left, as you can see, and, and that's what we want to be able to create. We want to be able to use, right, our hand file. And again, that, that's the most important part of, of, I would say, this profile is we'll be able to see whether it's nice and even from side to side. But as you can see, right, we have a great extension leading out. We have a great upper arch. What we're trying to do is create as even as a structure as we can all the way through, right? Setting ourselves up so that whatever design we do over the top of this, um, it's not going to look thin. It's going to look absolutely natural and the extension is going to look perfect. All right. Um, if you guys, again, have any questions, uh, feel free to get a hold of us. Um, at Young Nails, um, you could use this platform, you could ask us on Instagram, you could email us, or you could call us, www.youngnails.com, uh, 1-800-777-9170. I appreciate you guys tuning in to Nail School. Uh, if you guys, again, uh, looking for more education, keep tuning in. We're going to be doing this quite a bit. Excited to help you guys get to that next level. I appreciate the time, and uh, for those of you guys, again, Tune into Twitch tomorrow. You're not going to want to miss it. Appreciate you guys. Love you. And I'll see you guys soon on Nail School. Peace. Subscribe channel now. Subscribe.